Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Right Hand Corner. We got Doodle starting as the Orange Protoss. Upper Left Hand Corner, we got Herbmon starting as the Yellow Zerg. This is going to be on Polypoid to start. And this should be a pretty epic matchup. I'm a big fan of both of these guys. Uh, looks like Overlord's making its way bottom left hand corner for Herbmon. Uh, Herbmon is getting stronger and stronger. I think Doodle has an edge here. That being said, I do believe that Herbmon can take Doodle out. So, could be an intense one either direction. Doodle... I feel like Doodle is slowly... I think both these guys, honestly, in like, depending on their level of play, again, are kind of the guys I'm looking for in the next year or two. Like, there's a lot of guys at this tournament where I'm like, you guys are so close to going to the next tier, I guess. And uh, as far as I would say, the, the Doodle, I feel like, is just starting to show up for a lot of this stuff. I mean, he... He's been solid Gosu League, but I, I, we've been seeing him like start to go up. I, I'm wondering if it's just a self-confidence thing or what, but Doodle, he's a solid player and I think he can go pretty deep. Semi has shown massive improvements. Urban obviously has started to, to range up and a lot of guys were surprised or like, oh, I felt like Urban was a casual guy and now he's showing some really strong play. Gateway first opener for Doodle, top right. I'm a big Urban fan just because uh, I think he's a cool dude on top of everything else. Looks like we are going to see an overpool. I think almost every Zerg, this has become by far the most popular build order in response to Gateway First as of late. It certainly has become, I don't know if it's just like a copycat thing or just more comfortable for Zerg these days or if it's just kind of the build du jour. But overpool has become, it seems like, because I can't think of a Zerg this entire tournament versus Protoss who opened up anything aside from overpool. Drone Scout making its way out to the right. Another drone uh, making its way potentially. It looks like there's a bottom right hand scout initially. And Doodle going to go check out bottom left. Of course, they're going to end up scouting Erdmon last. Erdmon going to get first scout with his drone. Technically second scout though, because keep in mind that Overlord. Spiny Pool finishes. Looks like he's going to... So not an initial Zergling build. He is going to go ahead and get some additional drones since he, ha he hasn't spotted anything. hasn't been spotted yet. Is he going to go up to the full four? He is going to go ahead and draw the four has scouted the gateway first opener now we got a zealot making its way to the top left mostly a shell game in this instance he's going to have that probe alongside that probe can actually make a big difference in micro versus those initial zerglings overlord repositioning uh one thing is is this does also open up opportunity depending on how doodle wants to play it to create uh, just get some zealots out on the map and make it very hard for ermon to hunt them down the, Zer the, the zerglings actually splitting here so two of them making their way back towards the main, and we got two back across here. So er uh, Erdman wants to get some Zerglings into Doodle's base and create some havoc there. And he's going to allow a couple hits to happen on the hatchery to make that happen. That's also kind of exposing him potentially to some trouble here. A second Zelt making its way up, and he still hasn't taken out that probe on the front. The Zerglings doing some micro. So basically Erdman saying, like, I want to multitask in this fight. Let's see how your multitask goes. Third Zealot making its way back into the main. Another Zealot queued up, a drone alongside. Hatchery is finished, but that's a three on one situation with... So the probe wiped out, but the Zealot still has a good amount of shield. And this is four versus two, which is not a winning scenario there. The Zerglings have been cleaned up in the main. Looks like the Zealot got both of those kills. So denied mining at the natural expansion. This is going to be more Zerglings that need to be... Oh, ooh, and Urban unfortunately missed microing there a little bit. And it's still four on two, which is not great odds. So a lot of delayed mining time and i'm not sure so honestly getting punished a little bit for going a little bit earlier with those zerglings and also getting punished a little bit because i think he was trying to to sneak this around and cut maybe a few drones here and there finally able to get some initial damage done on that zealot to force it behind the uh, lines but doodle has done a lot of good work here early and he's got two more zealots making the way to the natural expansion i think this might just be a situation where urban played a little bit too greedy here in the early game and it's gonna cost him a lot of mining time and a lot of what would have otherwise been workers. So finally has a good shelter of Zerglings to engage, but the, Ze the Zealot's also getting a good engagement point. These two Zealots peeking back out, and if they can join up, that's gonna be four versus, four versus not enough Zerglings to take care of that. So Urban running into more problems. He's got that nine o'clock base up, so he can recover fairly rapidly. His managed to sneak out 
three more drones, but man, there's been a lot of economic damage there. Doodle dropping the ball a little bit. Oh, and able to wipe them all out. So maybe a turnaround situation here, but Doodle currently with the 10 worker lead, two overlords towards the front, two additional cannons dropping, no zealot legs, no speed. We are seeing a Hydrosten drop. This probe has managed to sneak into the darkness, so the Zerglings are trying to track it down and find it. Looks like they are going to uh, manage to take that out, but Urban's economy has been so hurt here in the early game. I think that Doodle has to presume that the follow-up is going to be a 973, and because of the, the Zealot losses, as far as the, the follow-up, he's kind of relegated to going for 973 defense, and Urban now staging a lot of those Zerglings towards the front. And the, yeah, I take it back. I don't want to call this 973, because not every Hydralis push is a 973 uh, play. This is, uh, we'll see what this turns into. And if Urban goes for the, the that appropriate amount. Um, it's going to be a minute because of Urban's a little bit staggered economy before he decides to start pumping the Hydralisks out. And in the meantime, that Corsair, actually the Corsair timing might be a little bit pushed because while he was, th that's the advantage of Zealot, uh, of Zealots being out on the map and creating some chaos for Protoss in the early game is you can still continue along that tech path, which means oftentimes you can get that Stargate up early, Citadel of a Dune down in pretty good time, uh, thing along those lines. I do worry about the Corsair problem for Urban because he's got this Overlord out on the front and another Overlord not that far away, which could potentially be exposed. Some Hydals being built right now. The Four Zealots actually marching out right this second, I think to check a little bit of timing, but also to thin the herd and create some havoc that direction. So now these Hydalisks might have to be defensive Hydalisks out on the front. And Doodle just, yeah, doing a great job thus far, really taxing Urban's economy overall. How many drones? So I'm looking at the drone count. We only have the two drones there at the nine o'clock. And where Urban wanted to be aggressive with these Hydralisks potentially, instead he's he's being forced to be defensive, although one drone kind of wandering out into no man's land right there. And the problems are just going to get worse. This Overlord's going to hurt. That should put Urban into the red. And there's still a, a potential, I think there's more kill ability here because I don't know that there's enough Hydralisks to apply pressure to the front to defend anything else. The Zergen's trying to take care of that Zelt to allow the Hydralisks to make their way forward. But even with the, yeah, and there's the, now he's in the red. I think Doodle just did too much too early. And he's still got four Zelts. He's gonna have Zelt leg speed if he can weather this uh, for a bit. Hydralisks need to scoot back uh, in the meantime. One Zealot able to sneak out to the 12th o'clock. The Corsair starting to make its way out to see if it can find additional targets. So the gateway might get taken out Forge probably will get taken out. Two additional cannons dropping, but Doodle doesn't need to drop a fifth, honestly, in the space of this pressure. He's checking out that 12 o'clock location just to make sure uh, one to spot it and see if a fourth base was getting grabbed in the space of everything else. That Overlord probably going to get taken out. And Urban trying to... So going with a slew of Hydralisks, mostly to just try to get the free stuff out on the front and try to recover his economy in the space of this. And he has managed to go for a pretty hefty drone surge. But even in the space of that drone surge, I don't think he's going to hit Lurkers in time and in the red again, by the way, after that additional kill from Doodle. I don't think he's going to be able to... He is going to be able to stop... Well, is he going to be able to stop plus one weapons? The Hydra is not quite paying attention on the front, scattering out to buy time. And, a, oh, some misrally drones right there. Yeah, and this... Uh, so plus one weapons going to finish as well. And Doodle able to hit the additional timing and his economy is still strong. Going for the gateway flood, he's just ahead is what it comes down to. He's just much further in the progress in the build order going plus one uh, weapons with the Corsair. I'm not sure that's necessary at this stage. He's already done pretty good damage with the, even the small investment and Urban's pretty clearly not gonna be able to do a tech switch into Spire. Zealot streaming into the nine o'clock. SimCity's not set up yet. And this is just kind of a snowball effect. Doodle just did so much chaos in the starting, that's just uh, made it more and more, but he is taking advantage of Urban's Overlord placement, where the Overlords have just been kind of wandering out on the map in positions where, honestly, they're to get picked off. And this has put him perpetually in the red here in the mid game. So nice pick off there from Doodle. I don't know if this Overlord's gonna get spotted. So nice pick offs uh, from Doodle at this stage. A couple more Hydralists trying to corral those Corsair around. That Overlord might be safe just from uh, from the fog of war, but 25 workers now from Urban. And honestly, his best shot at this stage is to just try to go all in and kill the Zealots and wipe out the front and maybe bash something here to try to get a, a victory and hope that Doodle doesn't drop enough cannons or doesn't have enough Psy Storm where he can hit it before Psy Storm is able to kick in. So working his way, an additional defensive 
base drop. The Corsair is just sitting here at the main, I think going to try to check things as they're built. Not a healthy worker count, but Erdman not going to die for it. He's just going to sit with his Hydralisks, and I think this is a mistake. Now, uh, Psy Storm, gonna fin uh, Psy Storm is finished. Uh, range going to be there. Dark Templar on the front. There's no Overlord here on the front currently. Uh, it looks like plus one weapons was canceled, by the way, by Doodle. And I think I missed a Psy Storm or maybe some Zealots getting some additional kills. The Hydralisks, I don't think, can stand up against the Zealot army with the Zealot leg speed. <laughs> Zealot getting taken out. Ooh, this is bad timing for Doodle if he kept that Dark Templar back a little bit longer. And Erdman also having trouble with these drones that really want to fight. The drones aren't cowards. They're going to try to get out there to the front. Uh, Lurker Tech is not that far off from finishing, so there maybe is a miracle where Erdman could get some Lurkers and Doodle could mismanage something, but I don't see that happening. Huge side storm to the south. Huge side storm to the north. Uh... A Zealot gets picked off, but the High Templar are also going to be able to retreat to the cannon lines. And so 20 supply lead here from Doodle, which is kind of what he needs on top of everything else. More Zergling. Yeah, this is now turning into a bust, I believe, or a bust attempt. No six cannon? Do we have enough Psy Storm to defend is the next question. Looks like we do not have enough Psy Storm to defend. So Doodle actually might be in trouble here. Might need to morph an Archon in the space of this. He's trying to press the High Templar forward to soak up some time, now drawing them back. But the Zealot's actually running forward with the cannon and able to just clear that out. And Urban continuing to try to rally towards the front. Some Zealots have managed to sneak through in the space of this as well. So they might be able to create some havoc at that 9 o'clock location. There's no Sunken. There's only two Hydralisks here. Uh, so might even be able to take out that base. Ooh, High Templar getting picked off out on the front from Doodle. This might be fatigue as well for both players at the late stage. Uh, I'm kind of curious at what what time to point this is played in the space of this. Some units at least attack moving into this. But these Zealots, uh, they're going to get cleaned up. Still additional cost, additional distraction for Urban. Urban now going for a general contain, but I think... Oh, and an Overlord going to get picked off. He's got seven gateways. He's got enough supply where he can kind of he can push out of this. He's still potentially going to wait for that robotics and that observatory. I don't think he needs to. Lurker tech is there, but there's no lurkers out on the ground. Urban just hasn't had the supply or gas to spare. And more beautiful size storms absolutely peeling back the Hydralisks like an onion. Urban recognizes that, yeah, it was over. And just Doodle persistently snowballing that all the way through. That's an unfortunate game to, to drop. I'm, I'm betting Urban was frustrated with his level of play. It's hard to have a game like that in the lower bracket where you don't have uh, the best of three to work with, which is a bit fortunate because I think Urban can, can show better games. Uh, than just in the best one. But anyway, Doodle advances in the lower bracket. Urban's now eliminated. I wanted to show you guys, uh, who was it? It was Crossy versus Ranged, but the replay was broken, unfortunately. But we will continue along the lower bracket, getting, uh, I think I've got maybe 10 replays of this left, at which point it'll be completed. And hopefully there's somewhere on Ortosis' channel or elsewhere where you can see uh, some of the matches i highly recommend checking out semi versus ranged in particular that match was absolutely epic uh i might do that at the end but anyway in the meantime hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening